Dead Island 2 is the long-awaited sequel to Dead Island, which is finally out after 10 years, taking place not on an island, but Los Angeles, which offers some spectacular and iconic scenery like Venice Beach and Santa Monica. The story tells of a deadly virus which is spreading across Los Angeles, and the city is now in quarantine as the military has retreated. Bitten, you harness the zombie inside of you as you seem to be resistant to the pathogen. As you uncover the truth behind the outbreak, you'll discover who or what you are. So you take control of one of six playable characters, which ultimately does not affect the story, as each has identical dialogue lines, but the looks and starting skills do differ for each player. So now you have a basic of what the game is about. What are the pros and cons of Dead Island 2, and should you buy it? I think we will start with the pros of the game. First, the game looks stunning on Xbox Series X. Just wandering around the beach at sunset or visiting the pier at night is really awesome to see. Killing zombies is also awesome, which is useful in a zombie killing game. And to start with, combat feels sluggish, but once you get the better skills and weapons, and there are tons of weapon choices, it feels a lot more enjoyable. But the coolest thing in Dead Island is the zombie dismemberment. It's extremely detailed and every slice of your sword can be seen in the zombie's flesh. Guts spill out and blood everywhere. It's one of the better things I've seen in any zombie game. While I prefer one large map, the smaller maps are big enough that you can explore and do side quests and discover secrets, like the lockboxes hidden throughout. Zombie types are also very varied, which I liked. At the police station, all the zombies are police. At the beach, they're in shorts and bikinis. And in the newsroom they wear suits, or the red carpet they wear fancy dresses. It's something I haven't seen a lot of in similar games, which Dead Island 2 does well. Throwables or curveballs as they're called. I would have loved to have seen some more explosives and artillery in the game to maximise carnage, but you can still blow things up with them, and those along with the cool environmental elements like fire, caustic X, and of course electricity, allow you to kill zombies in a fun and a varied way. Side missions were also enjoyable as well. So those are the biggest pros for me and what made the game most enjoyable. Let's take a look at the big list of cons and what could have been different to make the game a bit better. First, the skill tree system, which has been swapped to skill cards. But other than being overly colorful, they're the exact same thing as a skill tree. In fact, it's more constricting than having a skill tree and so a little bit less fun. I don't think the skill choices are that great. Uh, the auto fade system where you can equip cards for powerful boosts to damage, etc. But they reduce toughness and one of the worst things is they reduce the ability to regenerate health. Which is not that fun when zombies deal big damage. Plus, your health kits are very limited. They should have stuck to skill trees or at least offer more skill card variability. I had a big issue with weapons, crafting, and lockboxes. It's one of the things that didn't really make sense for the game. There are around 50 lockboxes spread across the map, 90% of which don't unlock until after the main campaign. But after the main campaign, I can collect legendary weapons, and so the weapons I get from the lockboxes are pointless. I'm really not sure why you can't get them earlier, or at the very least put some legendary weapon variants inside of the lockboxes so they're worth collecting after the story. Because in total there are 8 legendary weapons, but there are over 25 weapon types, so there is at least 17 different weapons that don't get legendary, and they could have been inside of those boxes. They don't have to be unique, they could have just been legendary variants. Now while I did personally collect all the lockboxes because I make guides, I'm not sure if I wasn't making guides I would have bothered collecting them. Also, weapon crafting is a little bit disappointing. You have thousands of components, but you don't really need them as you don't use hundreds of weapons in the game. You simply use the most powerful weapon that you have. In fact, for the entire campaign, I use pretty much one weapon because you can keep upgrading them. And in the old game, it did it a bit better where you constantly needed to find new weapons and upgrade them to the level that you were. But in this game, you can keep the same weapon and you can upgrade it for pretty cheap. And you actually have to make a conscious choice to use different weapon variations. But as I said, using whatever your strongest weapon is, is really what you will actually do in-game. So I think if they remove the ability to upgrade weapons, then you're forced to use whatever weapons you find lying around, and it makes survivability a little bit tougher, which is more enjoyable personally. Also, guns were a lot more rare in Dead Island 1, with ammo scarce. But in this game, you can use guns at all times, as crafting ammo is easy and cheap, which is another thing that I didn't really enjoy. The blocking and parrying system is also not that enjoyable, although at some point you can equip dodge instead that makes combat a lot better and more fluid. 
Lastly, the game's main campaign was a little bit generic. It's sadly been watered down to fit all audiences and relies on Marvel-esque humour too much, which is a pretty common theme these days for most games, sadly. It's not for spoken level bad, but in a zombie apocalypse, I would like a little bit less sarcasm and jokes and something a bit darker. But it's not enough to not make me play the game. Overall, I gave Dead Island 2 7 out of 10. It's good enough that I have 100% complete it, but it has a few glaring issues that could have made it an amazing game worthy of Dead Island 1, or even better, surpass it. But after 10 years of development hell, I guess I'm just glad we finally got to play it. Guys, like and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you next time. Bye.